Hello everyone. Last time we will talk about shared pointer. Shared pointer provides a shared ownership of an object. And when all the shared pointers of that object goes out of scope, that object will be automatically deleted. That means we should never need to worry about memory leaks anymore. Or should we? Let's look at our example of dog, since we are having so much fun with the dog. Now the dog has a new member. It is a shared pointer of dog. It's called MP friend, and it also has a member new member function called make friend, and which sets MP friend to F, so the dog can make new make friends now. And in the main function, I create a dog PD gunner, and PD two Smokey. And PD make friends with with PD two, and PD two also make friends with PD. Now let's run the program. Oops, we forgot to define the dog's constructor. Okay, run again. Now, as you see, Gunner is created, Smokey is created, but none of them are deleted. The shared pointers are supposed to delete the dogs for me automatically, but they are not doing their job, and I'm still getting memory leaks. What happened? The reason is what's called cyclic reference. Gunner has a shared pointer points to Smokey, and Smokey also has a shared pointer points to Gunner. This forms a cycle of shared pointers. That's why it is called cyclic reference, and as a result, none of the shared pointers will ever goes out of scope, and none of the dog will ever be deleted. That's why we have the memory leak again. The solution for this is instead of using shared pointer for the friends, I will use weak pointer for the friend. And let's run the program. Now both Smokey and Gunner are destroyed. So what is this weak pointer? We know a shared pointer provides a shared ownership of an object, and what the weak pointer says is, "I only want to access that object, and I don't want to have any ownership of the object." What it means is, when and how that object will be deleted is none of my business. I don't want to interfere with that at all. So having a weak pointer is similar to having a raw pointer. But the weak pointer provides a、uh, one level of protection that nobody can perform operator delete on this pointer. As a result of this concept, is a weak pointer is not always valid. If the object that the weak pointer is pointing to is deleted, the weak pointer becomes an empty pointer. So another level of protection that a weak pointer provides is a safer access to the pointer. Let's look at example. Say we have、uh, the dog has another function called show friend. What it does is print out the my friend is friend's name. This code cannot compile, as you see. So a weak pointer cannot be used. Just like a regular pointer, in order to use it, we need to call the function lock. What the lock function does is it creates a shared pointer out of the weak pointer. Why does it do that? It does that to make sure two things. One, it checks if the weak pointer is still pointing to a valid object. And two, it makes sure that while it is accessing that object, the object will not be deleted, because an object will be deleted only when there's no shared pointers pointing to it. Now let's call the show fun show friend function and run this program again. Okay, it prints out my friend is Smokey. Note that if The weak pointer is an empty pointer. The lock function will throw an exception, 
So if uh, if you don't want the exception to be strong, you need to add a check. If MP friend is not expired, then print out the friend. The weak pointer also provides another API to check how many shared pointers are pointing to that object. This API called use count. So we'll print out he is owned by this amount of pointers. And now let's run it. It print out my friend is Smokey and he is owned by one pointer. That's all for today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so when I post a new video you'll be updated. Or you can go to my channel's homepage and see what I'm offering today. Bye bye.